Hey, they say the big R is coming. You know what the big R is, right? The recession. And I'm here to tell you with absolute 100% certainty that yes, a recession is indeed coming. And you know what? I will even go a little further out and say a 2007, 2008 style event is also coming. But I will also guarantee this. I have no idea when it's going to happen. And neither does anybody else. Okay? No one. I'm pretty sure, again, those things will happen because economies happen every day. But nobody knows when those things will happen. Nobody knows with any certainty of any kind. Let me tell you what the definition of a recession is, okay? A recession refers to a, a two consecutive quarters of decline in the GDP. That's it, okay? So by definition alone, we don't know we're in a recession till basically the end of the recession. And in these markets uh, or in uh, the modern times, recessions are usually somewhat short-lived so by the time that we understand we are in a recession, the recession is in a recovery, okay? And it's almost pretty much over, if not over, all right? So that's it, okay? Now you have to understand that, again, economies uh, and people are not in a vacuum. Economies react different in a variety of different places, and people's reactions to those economies and the effect of those things on people are totally different, okay? I remember back in the day in the 90s, which for all intents and purposes were great times, I knew people who lost their wealth, who lost their businesses, who lost all their investments, okay? And this was a time period that was really good. We fast forward into 2007 and 2008 for most people that think that was very bad times. And I knew businesses right during that time that did amazing. And also people in their jobs that were doing amazing. Okay. So if you think that you're an investor and you can time these things and also make decisions based on these things and move things around based on these things, um, you're going to be wrong. And you're going to be in the loser's end of this every single time. Okay. Now, let's use some, some simple formulas here that you can follow and make sure that you will be successful in your retirement plan. If you are 15 years or more from retirement, listen, who cares about recessions? Contribute as much money as possible into your retirement plans. Just keep putting it in. All right. Don't look back. Forget it. Just keep putting as much as you possibly can in. At the same time, you know, lower your debt, you know, pay attention to your debt and keep a good amount of emergency funds, a good amount of cash. You will be well rewarded over time. Most importantly, turn off the news and forget about it. All right. If you are during your single digits of retirement, I want to tell you this. This is sort of the time where you start getting more serious, okay? You got your assets, you got your income, and you want to start blending them together. You want to start marrying them so that you understand, well, when I retire, this is how things are going to flow together. At the same time, you want to make sure that you are protecting some of these assets because if we do have an extended downturn or a slowdown, then we'll remember we're in your we're in our single digits okay so we don't have a lot of recovery time from the standpoint of working years um depending of course on when you know, when you know when you plan to retire so it's important that you start protecting these assets and remember as i to tell you returns will come okay now if you're completely retired or getting very very close to retirement i mean within a year or so then you want to make sure, okay, that um, you don't ever take retirement income based on market performance, okay? Uh, withdrawal risk and or sequence of return risk is a real risk, okay? And with consistent downturns in the market or even slowdowns in the market, there are periods of the time that the market basically over time does zero, okay? Um, this will destroy your income, which will destroy your portfolio uh, and cause great 
great stress for you in your retirement. So you want to make sure that this at this time that you are not um, dependent on the market for your income. You want to make sure at this time that you have a plan in place that has a reliable, steady, guaranteed, growing source of income. And at the same time, you have this portion of the portfolio that's also in the market, but used for growth, not for income. Okay. Again, you want to protect your income in retirement okay and with that being said don't try to predict recessions because at the end of the day it doesn't matter okay turn off the news keep planning keep doing what you're doing and in the, if you're doing it right believe me you will be well rewarded over time and i'll see you next time on financial qb tv